we've read Thomas and Friends episode is Toby's discovery. I mean, look at this. Toby looked anxiously around. Everything seemed rather spooky. And in this episode, this character here is introduced. And he appeared for like literally exactly five seconds in the show, never appeared again, and was just a repaint of Duke's model. Got this much merchandise is absolutely beyond me. Oh, and I also forgot that Bertram used Smudger's face as well as a repainted Duke's model. Here is a behind the scenes of the model, then Duke's model was repainted back into its proper state just with a lighter colour of brown. So who exactly is Bertram? Well, he used to work at the mines near the mid or Railway and then the mine shut down and he was believed to be a ghost because nobody knew him and then Toby discovered him and that's all we know about this character and he was never seen again. So we know that Duke and Bertram share the same model in the TV series, but here is where Trackmaster did something incredible. Instead of just repainting Duke and calling it a day, they added a flatter cab, a thinner buffer beam, a taller smoke box and a shorter funnel. His tender is also a lot bigger than Duke's. Also in the television show, his face was Smudger's and his he's got a different face on his Trackmaster model. Does this mean that his Trackmaster face is Smudger's face? Now, this is going to get exciting because we're going to be looking at some mysterious things in his packaging and prototypes. We'll start with the packaging. So the only images of him in his packaging, well there's quite a few of them, but all of them have him in Walmart style packaging, not a single blister one. And I don't know why. But there is another style of packaging, which is this version of blister packaging, but with a nice scenic background. And on the back of one of these blister packaging, look at that, it's Bertram over there. So he was planned to be released in this sort of scenic blister packaging. Oh, he never got released. What a real pity. Anyway, I guess that's all I've got to talk about for the packaging. So let's move on to the prototypes. This is going to get exciting. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. His nameplate. It says Bertram, spelled with a U for some reason. And his lining is red, a pinkish red, you could say. And I've got no idea why. The face is also way off from what the final product looks like. Oh, and also his buffer beam is unpainted. I'm pretty sure that the prototype Bertram was based off of the Ertl one. Look at the similarities. And here is the second prototype. The face is unfortunately still the other one. However, the lining is for some reason yellow instead of gold, but hey, it's better. And the nameplate is correctly spelled, as well as a super vibrant running board. And that is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Once upon a time, the mine had been worked by the little engines, and their lines were still in place. But now everything was very rusty and overgrown. <laughs>